Hey guys, Cody Schwalker here, and I just want to give you a real quick video answering a question that I see a lot. Uh, where should I buy art supplies or where do I get art supplies? Well, it really depends on kind of where you're at. I mean, I'm in the U.S., I'm in Arizona, so there's a few places around me where I can get them, but... Um, but I also buy stuff online, so I just wanted to talk about that real quick. So first off, let's talk about, you know, because okay, so I do painting, so we'll talk about first off the canvas. First, all right, so I get canvas from all kinds of places. Um, I get them from Michael's, I get them from Joann's, um, and I get them online. Um, I also had a, a guy, actually this one, um, there was a, a guy that actually made them locally. I've gotten some from him, so sometimes I'll get them from him, but he's not always out here. He, he kind of goes to different states, so he's, I don't always have access to that. So when I do, he has, you know, I get a lot of good canvases for a decent amount of price. So if you can find someone local who can do them like real cheap, try to do it. Because the other thing that you'll find with canvas is that it's really expensive. Um, you'll find that like a canvas, let's say like a canvas this size right here, it's like a, that's three, I think it's like 30 inches by 48 inches or 36 by 48, something like that. That's like $100, dude. One of these, even a thin one, is like 40, 30, something like that. Um, and then if you get into like 34, 36 by 48 or anything bigger like this, you know, these ones are still like 60 because they're gallery wrap or whatever. Um, don't even try to find something like this in the store. That's a that's a three foot by six foot. Um super expensive right just the like a 30 by 40 or a 36 by 48 something like that is going to be like 100 bucks or pretty close to it so um so what i would say is like for smaller canvases or for practice you can buy buy them from like michael's or joann's i like the quality of the canvases from joann's but they don't tend to have as big a selection so a lot of times i'll get them from michael's okay um what I would suggest is if you're practicing, get a lot of smaller canvases um, because the smaller canvases are usually cheaper and you can get them in value packs. So like a 16 by 20, you can get a whole pack of them for like 20 bucks or 20 of them for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. But you can get a lot of them for a decent price. But when you start getting a bigger size, you're going to pay a premium for it. The other thing to watch out for is, you know, you can buy these thin ones right here, like the... Uh, the traditional like back stapled uh, three quarter inch uh, canvas for a decent price they're definitely a lot cheaper than this like the uh, the gallery wrap where it's like 1.5 inches <sighs> you get what you pay for so that's all I can say um, let me show you this so this is a this is a gallery Ooh, gotta turn it okay so this is a gallery so it's 1.5 again same thing these are both 24 by 48 inches 2 by 4 feet this one right here is the same size, like this is also a 24 by 48. But the thing with this one is that it also had a tendency of warping. So if you're practicing and you know you or if you don't if if you don't think it's gonna warp, you can get a lot of these ones sometimes for a decent price, like these these thinner ones. My suggestion, just from my personal experience, is that once you get past three feet, it warps more. So let me, um, actually, let me show you something. So this one right here, um, this one is, I'll just go back. Okay, so this one right here is two by three. Okay, so monochromatic dream is two by three. Um, and you can see that it's not really warped, okay? And one of the first paintings I ever sold internationally, or, well, yeah, so it was, um, was another Pollock style piece, by the way. Um, but it was a piece called Metropolis and it was also a two by three. Two by three, I found, like if you get the thinner ones, they don't warp that bad. So you can get away with the two by three, um, the two foot by three foot that's on the thinner canvas. But once you get past like three foot, it, these ones have a tendency to warp like crazy if you don't get the thicker ones. Like the thicker ones, um, like these, all the gallery ones, they tend to warp a lot less. Not saying they won't warp at all, but they warp less. Um, so just something to keep in mind that once it gets past like three foot, I've, I've found that they have a tendency of warping pretty easily. So um, I usually try to keep the thinner ones three feet or less. So anything below that, like 16 by 20 or something up to two feet, they're usually just fine. Um, okay, so let's talk about where I get them. Okay, so most of the time, like I said, I use Michaels. Um, I will go to Joann's if they have like a sale. Look for sales, so like 50% off or more for canvases 
If you can get them 50% off, that's great. Sometimes you can get them 60, 70% off. That is when you wanna stock up. Um, also, like I said, if you can find someone who does local canvases, um, you may also wanna consider that. The only thing is, is like, you have to watch out, like the, the person, I love them, um, but they do, they just did a flat board. Um, the problem with that is that it can ghost. So let me, I don't know if you can see it. So let me put this on here. Oh. Okay, sorry about that. Um, you can see the outline of the the wood because there's no um, separation. Like on here, if you were if you've ever seen an actual canvas frame, there's a little bit of a beveled edge so that the canvas doesn't lay flat on the boards. <sighs> Over time, that canvas is going to sink in, and if it's if it's not beveled, it can ghost, which means you see the outline of the frame underneath the canvas. So it's kind of something to think about. So like you won't see it here. You can see that if I push on the corner, it goes in because this is beveled. So it's it's tighter right here. It's on the corner, but if I push in right here, it sinks in because this is beveled. So it goes in. It goes downwards. Um, anyway, so let's talk about uh, where else I get canvases. Um, those big ones, um, I got them from Jerry's Artorama. Now. They are Edge. Edge is the brand, I believe. Um, it's not bad. I like them. They are. You can tell that they're not as premium quality as some of the other ones, but I'm not, I'm not bashing them because I use them. They are cheaper, so you can get more uh, at a time. I think I, a three-pack of three, six, three by sixes was like 150 which isn't bad for three large canvases. Um, so I ended up buying two packs of those, and then you know there was shipping cost of like two hundred dollars. So so keep that in mind that there is going to be a, a shipping cost because they are oversized. So let's talk about some of the other materials. Well, I use gloss enamel from Don Edwards, which is the type of paint I use. Shout out, sponsor me, Don Edwards. I'm gonna keep harassing you until you do. Just kidding, but seriously, I love you guys. Um, anyway, so that's where I use the paint. Obviously, it's pretty easy because I use the same paint almost all the time. Now the tools. Um, for a lot of the stuff that I use. I mean, most of the stuff is probably from Don Edwards, like the, the paint, or I mean, sorry, from Michaels. I mean, I use paint sticks from like Don Edwards, but I also use like Michaels for paint brushes or scrapers or something like that. So a lot of the stuff, I if it's an actual paint supply, I'll get it from Michaels, again, usually when they're on sale. Um, but if it's like uh, the rubber spatches, I mean, I get from Walmart. The other things like the squeegee, I think I got from either Home Depot or Ace Hardware. And a lot of the, the, the trowels and scrapers also Home Depot. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, that's really it. The biggest thing is canvas. And, uh, oh, unrolled canvas I get from Blick. So Blick Art Materials or Dick Blick, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's a link if you ever want to help me out and give you some, some canvas. There's a link. You know, you can just send me some unstretched canvas or stretched canvas, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, so I get um, unstretched canvas from Blick. Blick has a lot of great art supplies. So if you can get stuff on, on their website on sale, that's also a good place to get art supplies. If you're going to buy a bunch of stuff at once, maybe not just, you know, just either buy it from probably either Blick or Jerry's Artorama. I found Jerry's Artorama to be a little bit cheaper, but Blick has really good quality. So it's, you know, you kind of have to balance what you're going for. Um, and uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. So that's where I get my art supplies. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you like it, please, you know, like, rate, share, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And if you want to consider helping me out, there's some links uh, below where you can, you know, do that in different ways. But uh, I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care.